In this video I'm going to be talking about Pirate's Cutscene Skip, specifically the time stop version of this trick, and the one and two pause methods. So I want to talk a little bit about how the trick works first. So you'll go and get time stop up on the turtle, and when you're in time stop you'll walk into the cutscene trigger, and then walk down here to this loading zone, uh, and then you will cancel time stop to start the cutscene, but you'll pause buffer into the loading zone to actually skip the cutscene. So, the way that we do this is going to be with a side hop, and one and two pause refers to how many pause buffers we need to actually get into the load zone. So, the two important things that you need to know about this trick are where the load zone is, and how far your side hops travel. So, for the load zone, I like to use visual cues on the ground, I specifically use the this little like black spot right here um if i turn my camera you can see if i like walk to the loading zone it's like right about where that black spot is that the loading zone starts so you'll need to mess with this and find a visual cue or some way of knowing where the loading zone is that works for you the other thing is side hops so since we use a side hop to travel into the cutscene just know that for one pause you get one frame of side hop movement, this is not a lot, so you need to be extremely close to the loading zone for it to work. And then for two paws, you get another frame of side hop movement. You see there's a lot more room for error here, so it's definitely the easier version of this trick. So I have a save state already up here with uh, time stop, so I'm gonna walk into the cutscene trigger, and then we'll go down by the loading zone. So, using my visual cue, uh, this looks like right about where I need to be for both two and one pause. So I'm gonna turn so that I can side hop into the loading zone and then I'm gonna make a safe state. So now I'm gonna talk about the canceling of time stop. So we do that with C up. If I C up, you can see that it cancels time stop and the cutscene starts. So the way this works is the first frame I see up, nothing happens really. The second frame I see up, uh, the see up actually begins. You, you hear the noise, the, the little boop, boop noise. And then the third frame, the cutscene actually starts. So the noise that you hear from the see up is a very important audio cue. So for two pause, we'll go over two pause first. When I see up here, I want to pause on the frame that I hear the noise. Now, if you don't pause on this frame, like here I pause on the frame, if, if you see up and pause and you don't hear the noise, that's okay. Um, you just do an extra pause buffer until you hear the noise and it just becomes three pause instead of two pause. But ideally you pause on this frame where you hear the noise. That means the see up is starting and the cutscene is gonna, uh, the cutscene is gonna start but the pause here obviously delays that. So now you wanna use one, your last buffer here to input the Z target and A. So Z target is gonna let you start targeting so that you can actually do your side hop. And the A input is going to cancel the C up. So here I'm gonna use my second pause and I'm gonna buffer those inputs. So you'll know it worked if you hear the uh, C-up noise again to indicate that you've canceled the C-up and you see the camera start to pan in your buffer. So now I'm not looking straight at Link anymore. It's kind of off to the side a bit. So now you'll unpause and you'll use your last buffer here to input a side hop into the loading zone. For me, this is gonna be a a and holding down for the side hop. The reason it's down is because when I did time stop, I was facing away from the loading zone. So the first frame that you cancel your time stop here, the, the controls are all messed up still. So down is what's gonna get me into the loading zone. So I'll buffer that here. Now, now that I enter the loading zone, the cutscene is skipped. So when I go up on the turtle here, uh, there won't be a pirate's cutscene. So for the one pause method, it's a little bit different. 
so you actually have to do a lot of inputs um, before you, you get this first pause. So for it to work, you want to see up, and then you want to target the frame after you see up and pause on that same frame. So now that I've heard the see up noise, I know that I'm targeting. Um, and there isn't any visual cue to know that you're targeting. You really just have to have a good feel for this. And then for your unpause here, you are going to be doing all of the inputs one after another. So the in the unpause lag, you're gonna be pressing A to cancel C up. And you want to time an A input or mash, however you can do this, so that the first frame after unpause lag, you input a side hop. So the lag is very inconsistent here, so I'm just gonna to try to mash for it. And you'll see that I was able to cancel C up and side hop into the loading zone on out of the unpause lag, essentially. Um, this version of the trick is a lot harder to do for that reason um, just because like there's a very small margin where your side hop will actually enter the loading zone and it's really hard to get that um, that single frame side hop after the unpause lag there isn't at least from my understanding there isn't a great cue for timing it uh, just because of the lag and how it changes but um, that is how you can do these tricks RTA so if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.